Detective, did you... Me of lying in a courtroom. How dare you? You can't get away with lying, Mr. Bailey. Not in this case. There are too many people watching. Ms. Huston. No, it's real. We can... I'm due downstairs. I had a husband before Gordon. Approximately six hours. Shit. Hey, Valley. Look on the bright side. Don't. You need to be confident in the str Oh, no, no, no. I cannot afford to be accused of having a good time right now. Oh. Who? <laughs> um, everyone. <laughs> I'm ready for anything. Your Honor, the people will now call Detective Mark Furman. Your Honor. You know how to read a clock, he doesn't. <laughs> Your Honor, I cannot go late to... <laughs> Me? Ida was the one who's lost control. He's a total media whore. If you want to know which way he'll tilt, just watch the talk shows. Look, from that the is something... <sighs> the stuff... It's, it's awful. It's inappropriate. It's sexist. It's so horrifying. Look, can you do it or not? I have to get home, like now. I will put the boys down and I can work from there. I can. Okay. Good enough for me. No further questions. ...of Marsha Clark. This thing about needing to get home from court early yesterday was a fraud. I was with the kids. She worked late. Just classic... ...private life. What do you read? I did it for Farah, and I'm gonna do it for you. Farah? World, prepare to meet the new, real Marsha Clark. Good morning. All right, we stand in recess. Good morning, Miss Clark. <clears throat> well, that makes total sense. What did you do then? I approached it. And those other guys, they're flashy hot. Your Honor, opposing counsel has had two weeks with this request. Counsel. An explanation why it has to take place here and not in the brief. And thus we... <gasps> Travis, what are you doing up? Mom, when I got home from school... T Travis, there is nothing I would like more in the world. 
Whoa. You know what? I do. Me too. So glad, I'm so glad, I'm so glad. Really, Gordon? A petition for primary custody? Come on, Marsha, you keep calling me, ask me to pitch in. This is only temporary until your trial of the century is over. Marsha, please, just let the lawyers handle this. I am it's a lawyer. Why should I be penalized for doing my job? Let's be. I am more than a great mother to them. You know that. You said At least they know one of us is there for them. And so what did you do next at Rockingham after seeing the blood? I'll find out and proceed to Rockingham because Mr. Sim... Point made or something like that. <sighs> made the detective sound shady. Shit. Oh, objections. Object. Miss Clark, please remember your... My client has more... Rather than pay added child's children... Oh, for God's sake. Miss Clark. Thank you, Your Honor. That was strong. Emotional, stirring testimony. Will it make a difference? We'll get into that after the break. But first, let's get into a subject in the OJ trial. Dolly Sugarman, style expert and... And can we talk about that hair? Mommy. Hi, sweetie. My apologies to the court, Your Honor. You okay? And what does that mean? Let's make OJ put on those gloves. And we need a big one. How to sneak around and kill people with knives, cutthroats, and <laughs> It's a cleverly disguised front for the gatherings of Cocaine Kingpin. <laughs> Desperate flailing. I hope they keep that kind of unsubstantiated bullshit. Instead of playing tic-tac-toe with themselves. I liked it. <laughs> See you. <laughs> Damn, we had a rule. Come on, come on, come on. What's your theory? Men's career and land him in jail. Just where it needs to be. Media scrutiny in American history. And all this for an unknown for John. Oh. Both of them. Yeah, yeah, ha ha, very <laughs> funny. <laughs> Stop this. Come on. We're going downstairs to get our conviction. Visa card number two, 1989 tonight. I give up. Of all the 70263 was trained to kill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, holy yes. shit! Right <laughs> The gloves are our conviction. What are you doing here? Get rid of the real killer's blood from the back gate. No, no, no. Ain't of yourselves. Friend, childhood friend. It's his birthday. <laughs> Love the hair. Please don't ever mention my hair again. You got it. Ever. Marsha? Let me be clear. This is my case. You work for me here. Simpsons blood. Until the next day. Mm, mm, mm. And these gloves. Gotta drive up. It, it, might or might not want to do before I've even done it. Is this an AA meeting or is someone gonna buy me a drink? Oh, the jury's still out. Yeah, that is. And certainly not to the defendant himself. He was acting, he was just. Look, what's strong did from Mr. Simpson is missing. Your Honor. Question, have you ever been a victim of domestic violence? Her husband raped her twice. Actually. Hell if I know, but I'll take it. Love isn't my game. It's yours. Truth, well, the truth came out. Toughen up, Cochran. This is a smoker's lounge. 
Daycare's on the first floor. I'm leading up to Mr. Simpson's house and on the sock at the foot of his bed. You just said that. Out loud. And the two victims. Did this incredibly precise DNA matching show anyone else's... We still have the DNA and the forensic evidence that is our silver bullet. No they did fit. It was the latex. Get out! G and C. They also come in pairs. Many, many times more accurate than this DNA. Behind him now, Your Honor. Yes, counsel. I'm sure that you and your client are sympathetic to putting domestic violence in the rearview mirror. Is he seriously shaking their hands? Take it. One person, Mr. Orenthal James Simpson. <sighs> and have you seen the way she... Have a nice night, Cochran. ...called Standing Alone, a vote for Nicole. May I? I am, you and your sleazy investigator. Sleazy, don't forget that I work this building. If And did the second voice sound? Mr. Darden, where are you going with this? Your Honor. Hey, I suggest not. I did. I did not. Don't yes, put you did. And if they are successful, they are almost always targets for. What you think I wouldn't want to do over? My life, do over my marriage. I'm going to. I am offended that in America. Hardest thing I've ever had to do as a prosecutor. I don't want to be in the position of defending. Do not let the jurors hear these tapes. I am begging you from my soul. National concern. This is a double homicide, Your Honor. Not what was the he heard two men arguing outside the condo, but now the jury has completely forgotten Furman in this writer play acting. Well, the defense has been obsessed with creating stories for the jury, and lawyers were have to broadcast to exert political tempt. <laughs> Darden in this matter. I don't know if I'm legally entitled to, but I would like to be heard. Unfair events that have occurred in this courtroom today has been exploited. Shall I take off my watch and jewelry? Immediately after we beat those guys, we found. I'm so sorry I didn't listen to you. you deserved better. No bearing on a murder trial. This is just more of the defense throwing conspiracy mud at the wall and seeing what sticks. Oh, it'll stick. It'll stick. Mike doesn't talk. You give him a shot in the stomach with your. You still use the chokehold? No. We had. Sit. This is. Sexist pig. Captain, I refuse to take orders. Which seems hard to believe since we learned she reprimanded. Oh, God. So, which means she can be. Marsha, let's take a deep breath here. Now is a tape in North Carolina. I don't follow. Who is this woman? It just makes no sense why Furman would blab to an unemployed screenwriter. Shit. You're on this performance piece. The witness has already made clear that he will not answer any further questions. Your Honor. I got primary custody. So you got everything.